Arsenal target Gabriel Magalhaes will make a decision on his future this weekend, according to reports. The Lille defender has been linked to Everton, Napoli and Manchester United. The 22-year-old is one of Europe's most exciting young defenders and helped Lille to secure a fourth-placed finish in League One last term, with only four of the league's 19 other teams conceding less goals than their 27 in 28 games. And Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta has identified Gabriel as an option as he looks to bolster his back line. The Spanish coach has already signed Pablo Mari from Flamengo permanently while the Gunners have welcomed William Saliba from Saint-Étienne. Artito also has David Luiz tied down for another year of his contract while they may struggle to find buyers for the likes of Shokran Mustafi, Rob Holding, and Socrates Papastathopoulos. Callum Chambers is meanwhile expected to be out until 2021, with Saliba, Mari and Luis currently expected to be Arteta's three main options. But Gabriel has been shortlisted as a target to perhaps ease the pressure on highly rated Frenchman Saliba, who turned 19 in March and has only 36 senior appearances to his name. The Brazilian would be an exciting addition given his potential and would surely help the North Londoners to fix a backline that leaked 48 goals in 38 top-flight games. While Arsenal were defensively sounder under Arteta, the errors of individuals proved their undoing on several occasions as they ended up finishing as low as 8th in the final Premier League table. A price tag in the range of £25 million to £27 million has been mooted around Gabriel, who is a left-footed centre-half, but competition for his signature is likely to be fierce, and ESPN say that the player will make a decision on what he wants to do this weekend, with Arsenal, Everton and United among the English clubs awaiting news. Duncan Castles has however suggested that United may be best placed to land Gabriel, courtesy of the Red Devils having Champions League football. Arsenal by contrast will play in the Europa League next term and Everton are not in Europe whatsoever. Yet that does not rule either the Gunners or the Toffees out completely if they can offer Gabriel an enticing contract to move to the Emirates or Goodison Park respectively. In terms of what the player wants to do, the guidance I have is he's very keen to play in the Premier League, Castle said on the Transfer Window podcast. He's keen to play Champions League again, obviously he played Champions League this season season with Lille. Lille didn't qualify, they're in the Europa League, because they didn't quite manage to get back into the Champions League places before the French season was shut down. But no particular preference either way is the guidance I have and it may well come down to whichever club offers him the best financial terms and can satisfy Lille by getting to the 30 million euro mark for the transfer fee. Arsenal are closing in on a deal to sign William on a free transfer from Chelsea with the Brazilian set to sign a three-year contract at the Emirates. And European football expert Julian Lawrence said of the deal on the Gab and Jules podcast, it's a good debate, he turns 32 later this month, is it too long of a deal? Let's not forget there was a time, Arsene Wenger when was there that he would only give a one-year deal to the over 30s and now, you give three years to a 32-year-old, three years to, Pierre-Emerick, Obama-Yang, who is 31. I think, the influence that David Luiz has had on the younger players in the dressing room is very important. Maybe they think William will be the same. But what you did with Luis was you gave him a 1 plus 1 deal, which I thought was the right thing to do at the time last summer. I don't think William is even a 2 plus 1, so you had one way of doing things with the older players then you change completely to give contracts to somebody who is 32. Let's hope it works for them.